Hello everyone, this is Shina Key, your financial fanatic. Listen, I just wanna talk to you about my little experience that I shared with taking my son, my eight-year-old son, took him on a field trip to a bank today to open up his account. He overachieved his goal. He wanted to save $100. And once he saved $100, he said he wants to open up a bank account. So he overachieved this goal. He saved more than $100. So I took him to the bank today, right? So my question is, why the heck with all the new technology that we have today that we had to sit there and roll all these coins, right? Okay, so be it. We did it. It was cool. It took me back. To back in the days when you know I had to sit there and roll the coins that my parents had me roll up so then I say all of this to say that your children is never too young to learn about financial literacy they're never too young never too early to start saving opening up accounts in the black community the children we are usually behind that's why when you go to other communities you can see children of other cultures running the register the business right so again i say that to say let's take our kids to the bank right i do a lot of research of course financial fanatic and i do know that the typical banks and savings accounts don't have high interest rates you know you have like 0.01 percent interest that's not a lot right so, of course, your non-traditional banks like online banks have higher interest rates because they don't have a whole bunch of overhead that they have to pay because they don't have a um, mortar and brick location. So they are allowed to pay out, you know, higher interest rates. So say that to say that I still let him open up a savings account because it was free. They don't charge minors any money and any fees, monthly fees, right? So I let him open up a savings account and I'm going to use that account and transfer money over to another account, like an online account that, uh, um, let's see, an interest bearing, compound interest bearing account and even so his investment account, right? But the reason why I took him to the mortar and brick location is so that he can get the feel of signing papers going to the bank just getting accustomed to like you know seeing what it's like to go to the bank with the online banks and stuff you don't have that option it don't get that feel so because he's only eight years old i wanted to start him off you know on a traditional level so he can get the feel and as he get a little bit more savvy and understand things he can move all the way over to online if that's what he chooses but you know you always have more than one account so it doesn't hurt and of course, there's no fees. So everybody, join me in a challenge. Go open up your kids' accounts. Get them going. Get them used to saving money, knowing what um, saving money is all about. You know, whenever he gets money, he spends half of his money and he saves half. And that's how we do, um, you know, and teach him about financial literacy. And he's doing a really great job. So I love it. And everybody, I want you all to join me. Again, our children is our future, and you're never too young to start teaching them about financial literacy. Um, my book is still in stores online, Amazon, Barnes & Noble's Wealth is a Mindset is everywhere. And as I promised, my audiobook version is still here to come. And another book will come out soon. I will keep you posted. Again, Shina Key, your financial fanatic. I just wanted to share with you my experience with taking my eight-year-old son on a field trip to the bank today. Thank you. And I and I also, one more thing before I get off of here. You know, I'm always empowering you to build your empire. Shina Key, that's my motto. Um, I had asked him, did he want to get online with me today to kind of share his experience about his trip to the bank? He declined, and that's okay. He's more of a behind-the-scenes type of little fella, so he's not all into, you know, the camera and sharing his story. He just wanted me to share it for him. He's behind the scenes, low-key with it. So, to us and building our empires. Don't forget to grab your copy of Wealth is a Mindset. It is Christmas time. It's a great stocking stuffer.